so the other thing I've been obsessed with my entire life besides science to the point where it's also borderline a part of who I am is airplanes I don't know it's it's to me hard not to be it's just something that still captivates my imagination and I don't know of many people that think airplanes are boring. There's people who think that space travel is uh, all the more exciting and, well, I don't know. To me, airplanes are actually more exciting in a lot of ways. If only because they're more accessible, although I wish they were still more accessible than they are. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've already complained enough about the FAA and how I don't have a valid medical certificate even though I've never once had an actual issue with my license or my flying, but I still can't fly because I can't get it. I, I, well, it's not quite accurate to just say I can't get a doctor to sign off because I can get a doctor to sign off, but then the FAA will not sign off on the doctors signing off. It's a whole contrived thing. I will link to <laughs> the explanation. I don't know. Suffice it to say, the FAA is not um, not known for making it easy to fly. Um, to be fair, their priorities are number one, people on the ground, number two, uh, passengers. Uh, and then after that, they have a, a thought or two about uh, pilots, which that's, you know, how it should be. But they're sometimes uh, overly cautious in the wrong areas. Because, I mean, caution is good when you're flying, but you want to have appropriately applied caution, right? It's like the canonical example with driving, right, is if you drive 10 miles an hour on the freeway it might seem like you're being cautious and safe because you're going slow but you're actually going to cause an accident aren't you uh, so but uh, say levy um, you know I don't know it's that's one of those things where I, I you know I mean in general wish we lived in a post scarcity utopia and everyone could just do everything cool but uh, I really do wish everybody could get a chance to both fly on an airplane and to, uh, you know, get their hands on the control column themselves and actually, you know, fly the aircraft. It's it's uh, an experience unlike any other. I I cannot begin to describe how much I miss it. I think about it all the time. And I sometimes wish I'd gone into aerospace engineering or aviation as a career instead of physics, but I don't know. There's reasons I did, did not, although most of them have to do with getting kicked out of things and sort of pigeonholed into something else, and I have have always loved physics. Uh, I don't know. The irony being one of the reasons that, is, that I did it is I thought I would never get a security clearance. And then I subsequently have actually gotten one, which, I mean, it's inactive at the moment because I don't have a job that requires it, but uh, nevertheless, I passed the background check for it, and I did have an active one, so it turns out that would not have been a problem, but uh, I don't know. I was convinced by various people that I would never get one, so turns out that wasn't true. So, say la vie, again. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I don't mean to mope, though, because, like, there's plenty of things in the world a lot of people don't get to ever have or experience and flying is uh, just such a privilege but it's it's one I'm very sad to miss although I, I've said before that I've uh, I've gone back to uh, one of my old loves from high school which is RC planes which let me plug this in here because I have the it's just a wing but I have I dug this out for yet another project I'm working on, as uh, I'm spread a little thin at the moment, but nonetheless, it's uh, this thing is fun. 
and I'd like to get my RC fleet back up and running and also install some custom electronics and start flying some designs of my own uh, aircraft wise um, but sort of one thing at a time is that that is one thing I took from the flight training as a general piece of philosophy it's good right is that they say aviate navigate communicate uh, you know which is to say you know keep your which in you know that's the specific priorities you should have in an airplane but like you know sort of keep your, your priorities in order and especially when you get task saturated keep your priorities in order and if you have to drop something be sure to drop the lowest priority item in your to-do list not the high you know because we often at least i have in the past tended to just drop whatever uh whatever is stressing me out when really i should drop whatever the lowest priority item is and you know uh, focus on like what is of most immediate concern which i guess you know, is mental health um which I have been focusing on that. It's sometimes difficult because there's various challenges that come up, both internal and external. Um, but uh, I don't know. And then, you know, creativity-wise, my uh, priority is usually uh, doing either physics lectures or electronics projects that are adjacent to that because those are uh, what can be relevant to potential employment. But um, it's important to also keep that uh, spirit of inspiration alive, right? And so I'd like to do some flying things again. Uh, I've been going up to a, a local airport nearby. I might do an explanation of uh, why I love that airport um, probably later this week because uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool little airport to land at. Uh, there's not really... There technically are, I mean, there are commercial flights in the sense of, like, you know, you can buy a ticket, but there's no, like, regular airlines operating out of there. It's all, like, small charter airlines type things. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool run. It's a pretty cool airport. They have a, they have a nice runway, especially for uh, small airplanes. But, uh, yeah, oh, I guess it's also, as I was thinking about, like, uh, my constant need to, you know, oh, man, you know, people on the Internet are, are relaying misconceptions. Uh, you know who I've never seen espouse a something that's wrong? Scott Manley. Um, and uh, he, he recently got his uh, private pilot, so congratulations to him, I guess. Uh, that was, that was a, a happy moment. Um, so, I don't know not all bad and uh, I don't know like I said I'll do something less sort of I don't know I'll do something more focused explaining why uh, why, I, why I love Palomar Airport uh, I don't know maybe later this week but like I said uh, focusing on priorities in order which are you know uh, mental health and then physics lectures and then electronics projects and then probably airplane stuff and then this although this is low effort so but anyways i guess uh in the uh the vein of scott manley fly safe everyone <laughs> <laughs>